Hello and a huge welcome to this video. I'm Scorpion from How to Do, and in this video, we will be learning how to get the best graphics out of Unity. So lately, Unity has been implementing a whole lot of things um, to make the graphics better for us. And in this video, I'm gonna go over all of the uh, those things that Unity just implemented, and let's see uh, how to use them. So it's really really simple. What you what you have to do is you have to make sure you are using Unity 2018.3 or above. Um, and if you don't have it then quickly go ahead and update it it's not big deal so when you do that you will uh, now uh, i just opened up unity and i am making a new project i'm gonna call this graphics graphics and as you can see there is a template option over here so if we click that there is a normal 3d and 2d uh, as usual but as you can see there are these extra uh extra options over here due to the new unity so in there we can find high definition render pipeline and lightweight render pipeline so if you're making a pc game then you should click this high definition render pipeline and if you're using a mobile device mobile uh, if you're making a game for the mobile devices then make sure you select the lightweight render pipeline I'm gonna uh, make it the HDRP which is a uh, high definition render pipeline and yeah let's let's get started so you just have to cre say create the uh, unity project and once you have made the unity project with the HDRP uh, then like there we can see the HDRP over there and you will get this really really beautiful scene so if I play the scene right now we will be able to move the camera around and look at just look at the quality pretty awesome right so you can move the camera around with WASD and you can move up and down and inspect the scene look at this quality pretty awesome and really cool I love it so yeah cool so um, now we are gonna get this kind of graphics out of unity now what you have to do is you have to go ahead and select the scene that unity provided and then duplicate that scene and then drag it out in your assets all right and then open that you can see up and I'm, I can call it my there you go and now this is our scene of course we don't need these kind of uh, assets in our scene so we can just select these example assets and delete them so now we have a brand new scene with us and with the post processing and all the lighting and all that done so as you can see if I go to the camera we have a post processing layer on it and when I disable that you can see the difference right and also there's a volume settings that is the actual uh, post processing as you can see the sky box is also due to the post processing as you can see pretty cool right so and you also have the uh, light the directional light and all the settings are already set so you don't have to change anything in that so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and say right click create a cube and I'm gonna reset its transform so reset and make it bigger and it will be our plane cool so this is our plane and then I'm gonna go ahead and make another cube and make a wall kind of a wall thingy out of it reset and make it look like a wall and then I'm gonna quickly go ahead and import a material inside my unity project uh, let me just go ahead and quickly find it out downloads and uh, now it was metal yeah this one and then this is the kind of uh, this is the kind of um, you know uh, material that I'm gonna use so I'm gonna just go ahead and select this whole material and drag that inside of unity if you don't know how to get these kind of really beautiful uh, uh, materials then go go to polygon and in there you will find a whole lot of awesome and beautiful materials and textures and all that so if I go to texture you can see all of these textures out here uh, so of course all of them are not free if I select this one um, I have to first you know have 10 credits and all that uh, so of course all of them are not free however you can get free of them from here uh, refined by free and these all are free you can download them so I have actually downloaded I guess this one alright so I have downloaded this one 
pretty cool so now we have that one in there so this is what it looks like okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and say right click and create a material so if we select the material you can see the options here are different because it is set to HDRP render pipeline and slash lit alright and if I select this material and bring it on top of that uh, wall and if I select this material and bring it on top of the ground you can see that the ground becomes white and it glows a little bit that you know produces some light so that is pretty cool so I'm gonna drag this on top of that and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, this is also specular so I'm gonna just lock this one here go in here and drag in the diffuse map there we go cool so that is not what I want <laughs> sorry really sorry uh, this is the one I guess uh, drag that on top of there okay so as you can see pretty cool but as you can see it's not giving us the best result as it can so how do we increase the results by adding different textures on the map so there is, is a uh, as you can see the uh, normal map all right so I can add the normal map on top of the normal map there we go and as I do that and fix that uh, it will take some time there we go now we can see uh, the lines all right so the tiles are uh, you know that and if I decrease the normal map to one it, you can see the difference so there with with the normal map and without the normal map so there's a whole big difference with and without that okay and then we can also increase and decrease the reflection but we are gonna do that later on and then there is a glossiness then there is a specular I'm gonna go ahead and set the standard to specular color and drag and drop my specular in there and there we have the specular going on pretty awesome so now it looks like a metallic kind of a thingy and we can increase and decrease and you can uh, change the options as you like like this is looking pretty cool to me uh, well you can set it to like this uh, sorry you can set it to like this or this it's all up to you and yeah cool you can see uh, the texture quality is really really awesome so this is because of uh, HDRP and the camera post processing so if I uh, do that you can see the difference right without and with the post processing now um, what I want to do is I want to add some lights in here so the traditional way is to add a light and I can add a point light or spotlight in here just like that so you can see the light is pretty cool if I disable the gizmos so you can see the light is looking pretty awesome it reflects with this plane surface also and then this uh, reflective surface also as you can see looks pretty cool and we can also change the uh, light color and that should look pretty awesome however this is not uh, what I wanted this is not the result which I wanted so I want some small lights going in a line uh, and how do I make that effect well you can go ahead and say right click and 3d object and a sphere make the sphere smaller and then make a new material for it and I'm gonna call this light and then you can drag that material on top of that sphere and then I'm gonna go ahead and set this to red or just uh, red and then select the emission color to also be red but as you can see there is no difference between no emission and the normal one so you can just uh, in order to make this guy emit some light we have to in increase the intensity just like that and as you can see when we do that we can increase the intensity like that I think this looks pretty cool and now what we can do is we can go ahead and drag this sphere inside the wall somewhat like that now this looks like a light and a pretty cool light and I'm gonna go ahead and do that quickly there we go so now we have lights going on here just like that and I can also change the settings a little bit to make it look much much better like that and you can also change the color of the lights and yeah anything and the they look pretty cool to me right 
like look at that pretty awesome so now there are kind of leds popping out and this gives a sci-fi look to your game and yeah okay so now what i can do is i can import a game object inside my scene so if you do uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and import uh, let me see so if i go to desktop and 3d models in there i should find some uh, someone like this one yeah i'm gonna import this one so if i go ahead and select both of them and drag them inside of unity so these are two game objects that are game characters from a game uh, I don't know the name of the game let me just quickly check that out what well, meanwhile the game objects are importing inside of, uh, inside of unity I come in here and say the rest uh, let me just quickly check that out this is the one that I have just imported inside of my game so it is a uh, game character from the game kill zone and there are uh, the the other one is the which one which one which one I guess this one. So I have imported both of them inside. The game. One is this and one is this. All right. So if you don't know how to download the game uh, uh, game assets from any game, like this is from Killzone, you can also download uh, game assets from Battlefield. If I can, yeah, Battlefield Five. So if I do that. This is uh, from a Battlefield 5. All of them are bet from Battlefield 5. Like, like just German Sport Beta. This is from Battlefield 5. And also this girl is also from Battlefield 5. So you can download any asset from any game. So if you want to learn that, make sure you click the link in the description box below and see my video on that. Let me just drain the water. There we go so where are the two models there we are so as you can see this is the one and uh, there we go oops if i make it bigger this is what he looks like i'm gonna go just go ahead and drag that out but as you can see it's really big so i'm gonna make it smaller so point zero one in here and say apply and there we go he is now back to his normal size and i'm gonna also import this one and do the same thing for him too. Point zero 0.01 and apply. So as you can see the detail in them is really really cool and you can get them for free. So the links will be in the disc uh, the link will be in the description box below for my video how to download them. And let's quickly go ahead and add the materials to them by, by the way without the materials also without the materials they are looking pretty pretty cool, right? Okay, so first add the material to this one um here and here are all the textures as you can see if i go ahead and say right click create a material and this one will be the i don't know what his name is so i'm gonna just call it hooded guy so and then select this guy lock this guy go in there and drag that on top of the base color drag that on here and also on here so there we go this is the base color pretty cool and now I have to make it look much much better so how I do that is by adding a normal map on it so drag and drop the normal map on top of it and say fix now and there we there we go okay so that looks pretty awesome look at this texture over here really really nice look at that those pipes going on there like really awesome and you can increase and decrease the intensity of the uh, normal map as you can see now it's really intense and we can set it to zero this is without the normal map and this is with the normal map so i'm gonna set it to one this is with the normal map and this is without the normal map so you can see the difference right pretty awesome and now let's see what we have here so we have body variance high okay this is the specular i guess so i have to go ahead and say specular i guess it is a specular i think so yeah it is a specular and i can decrease it increase it whatever i want uh, there we go awesome he looks pretty cool to me pretty awesome so you can use these guys in your games 
and that is really awesome, right? Like, he looks really cool in the third person view. And you can also rig them because they are now not rigged. Um, they're not rigged right now, but if you want to learn how to rig and animate your character in just two and three minutes, then make sure you see my video. Uh, the link will be in the description box below as always. Okay, so this is another a normal map, so let's just go ahead and sec check that out. Uh, normal map, normal map. Okay, so this is not the correct normal map that one was, so yeah. Okay, this, this one is looking pretty cool. And this can also change the colors of the uh, guy. So let me just go ahead and change the colors there. As you can see, the color are changed. The color are changed. Pretty cool. Awesome. So red one looks much better. Okay. So now the only thing that is remaining is his eyes, right? So are his eyes. So create a material for his eyes and drag that material on top of his eyes and. I think this is the texture that looks pretty awesome on his eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and drag it on to the normal map there we go pretty cool and looks pretty awesome to me and then we can set the color to red as it is in the game if I look over here uh, there no okay where is he come on come on come on there he is so as you can see his eyes are glowing right now so I also have to make his eyes glow so in order to do that of course we will have to select the emission set them to red and increase the opacity like that and there we go okay so uh, that one is done now we have to change the material of this or set the materials of this guy so I am gonna come in here and textures and these are all the textures for him so create a material for him this one looks like a diffuse map so I'm gonna go ahead and drag that on here and put him on there cool so last thing that is remaining is to add the lights to here right here and here if I can see come come over here you can see the lights are also glowing over here right so I have to add the lights too so uh, how to do that is by doing the same thing create material and material and then select that material put that on the lights and if I change the color you can see the lights also change color also put the lights color in there there we go awesome so now we have to make it uh, emit some light so set that to red and emit some light there we go Awesome, and also we can change the color of these lights to green, I guess. And that one also looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna set that to red. Okay, so that is that. He also looks pretty cool. And this one also looks pretty awesome. Like the detail is insane, right? Insane detail on it. <laughs> pretty awesome. So, uh, that takes care of that. And now if I disable the post processing you can see the difference this is without the post processing this is with the post processing and look at that see the difference so this is how you make your game look really really awesome um, pretty cool and I guess that will be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video till then be cool